Hi guys, this is Sajak from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to launch the chat GPT voice command from the device lock screen itself. So as you might be aware, with the Android 14 update, Google has given us a few options to add in the bottom left and right of the lock screen as you could see from here. In the bottom left and right corner, you could add a few options. Let me show you those options as well. So regarding the options, these are the camera DND home mute, but you cannot launch an application using this shortcut. However, in this video, I'll show you a, a nifty workaround using which you could easily launch the chat GPT voice command from the lock screen itself. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, make sure to download and install the chat GPT application from Play Store onto your phone and then log into it as well. As you could see, this is the chat GPT app and we will now make use of this app voice command to access it from the lock screen itself. Once you have installed the app, let's now minimize it. Now you will have to go to the settings menu on your phone. Then you have to go to display, then go to lock screen, then shortcuts and select either the left shortcut or the right shortcut is completely your choice, but you have to choose the QR code option either from the left shortcut or the right shortcut. In my case, I'm choosing the right shortcut as a QR code scanner. So we will be implementing the chat GPT voice mode in the QR code scanner itself. I will show you that how to do that. So as of now, just choose the QR code scanner and once verify the same. So let's just verify that as you could see, I got the QR code scanner on my right. You could choose on the right or the left. That's completely up to you. Once that is done, now comes an interesting part. And now we'll have to install the ADB shell on our phone. So we'll have to type in a few ADB commands directly onto our phone without directly onto our phone without using the PC. And for that, we will have to use an app known as ADB shell. So just a minute, let me show you. This is the app ADB shell. I've given the link as well. So let's refer to my guide and set up the app on my phone. We'll be using the wireless debugging mode to set up the app onto our phone. Do note that in this guide, I have made, I have listed five different methods through which you could carry out this task. Let me show you four different methods out of which we will be using the ADB shell method for this job because in ADB shell, we don't require a secondary Android phone. We don't require root and we don't require PC. Likewise, there is no need for any USB OTG cable as well. So with that said, that is why I'll be using the ADB shell app. So first and foremost, install the ADB shell app onto your phone. Once that is done, you will now have to enable developer options on your phone as well. So go to the settings menu. From there, you will have to go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, go to system and you should now see developer option. So with this, we have enabled developer option. Now let's launch the app. Let me bring the app to the home screen as well for the ease of convenience, just a minute. So now launch the ADB shell app and tap on OK in the prompt that appears. Then you will have to enable the toggle next to pairing code. And now you will have to go back to the settings menu. From here, you have to go to developer option, then enable the toggle next to wireless debugging. After that, tap on wireless debugging and then tap on pair device with pairing code. You will now get a Wi-Fi pairing code as well as IP address and port number. However, as you could see the IP address and port number in my case, but the thing is every time you do a refresh and minimize and maximize the app, the pairing code will change. So what you have to do is open both the apps in the same window for that slightly minimize this app, then long press on it and select split screen. And in the next window, select the ADB shell app. And with this, we now have both the apps in the same screen. So now under the IP address, First off, tap on pair device with pairing code and you will get your IP address and port number. So type in those in the ADB shell app. So let me do the typing as well. Once you have type in the IP address and the port number, tap on pair and you will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on general and then enable the toggle next to allow access to files for the ADB shell app. Once that is done, go back again, go back and you should now again come to the screen, the home screen of the app. So just verify that the port number and the IP address are still the same. 
if that's well and good tap on pair and you will get a prompt to view a guide so tap on cancel then again tap on pair and with this you are now inside the pairing window it will now ask, ask you for the pairing code so just type in the pairing code that you have got so in my case this is the pairing code let me type in the pairing code and hit enter and you will get a message that successfully paired as you could see in my case to verify the same you could type in adb devices and hit enter and you will get as you could see adb serial code so this signifies that the adb is up and running on our phone so we could now move ahead with the next step so next up you will now have to type in a couple of commands so let's do that as well for that you will have to launch google chrome on your phone or any browser of your choice and from there go to my guide just a minute simply re refer to my guide i will link i have linked that guide in the description as well and after that you will simply have to copy those command and paste it in the cmd window so first off copy the first command so let me do that as well the command is a little bit longer that's not a cause of concern once you have copied the command tap on copy and now paste that command in the adb shell app and hit enter after that execute the second command so again i have to go to my guide and do that as well so copy the second command i'll link this guide in the description you could refer to this guide and copy this command and again paste this command in the adb shell app as well once you have pasted both this command i will recommend you to wait for a few seconds so let's just wait for around 10 to 15 seconds this is because for the commands to get implemented successfully on your phone so i guess this time frame should be enough once you have type in this command you could now lock your phone and let's now check out the result so let me lock it and as you could see this is the qr code if i not tap on the qr code okay you have to touch and hold on the shortcut so let's see what happens and unlock your phone once and as you could see we are now inside the chat gpt voice command so great how can i assist you today using Hey, how are you? I'm just a computer program, so no feelings, but ready to help. What can I do for you? Bro, that was a dull response. Apologies for that. What's on your mind? Anything? Anyways, let me show you once again. So, once you have done the task, you just have to tap on the QR code scanner, long press on it for a couple of seconds and then unlock your phone. and you will be taken straight away to the chat gpt voice command screen as you could see from here so guys as you could see this was all from this guide on how you could integrate and add the chat gpt voice shortcut in the log screen if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching